Today's video, we're going to talk about the top five offenses in Madden NFL 16, guys. This is going to focus on Madden ratings, specifically ratings that matter as it pertains to the Madden game. It's not necessarily going to highlight the best NFL offenses, and while some good NFL offenses will be exemplified here, today we're going to focus primarily on the top five NFL are the Madden offenses and offenses that we can really use to be effective uh, in Madden this year. So, uh, first and foremost, uh, number five on our list is the Seattle Seahawks. In my opinion, they're still really, really effective offensively this year, and the reason why is because they can run the football. Russell Wilson brings 90 acceleration, 86 speed to the table, while also still having some of the best throwing attributes in the game. His deep throw accuracy really sucks, and this is why they're number five. In my opinion, you need to run the ball, and uh, I think that they are really good for running, but that's kind of it. Uh, and then you also have Thomas Rawls here down here with some good, decent acceleration. Uh, but Lynch comes back with trucking. You're going to really focus on the I form tight or I form twins with this with, with this offense. And I do believe that they are number five. And the reason that they're number five is because their receivers uh, in this year's game I think are really, really good, especially for Madden and, uh, and things that we can do with it. But the cool part about their receivers is they bring some really good catch and traffic guys. Uh, with the addition of Jimmy Graham, you have Chris Matthews with six x six five. You can do some really good things with those guys at 6'5", uh, respectively. Luke Wilson is still effective in this year's game. And then also, as we as we cycle through here, we, we notice that um, um, we also have some really fast receivers, too. Uh, some really fast receivers like Tyler Lockett uh, at 92 speed, Paul Richardson at 94 speed, and Ricardo Lockett. Baldwin and Curse are really kind of your slot guys, uh, and so what I like to do is put Matthews here, and then I like to you know flex. Normally I'll flex Jimmy Graham out, but Curse and Baldwin will be my slot guys, and then when I want to do some things with some some guys that need some speed, I'll put Tyler Lockett in. Uh, he's a really good player, and just watch out for him. And then of course Jimbo slash Graham with Luke Wilson, two of the best tight ends on the game. So I believe that the Seattle Seahawks are still a good offense but not number two or number three like they were in years past. Number four on our list um, is the uh, New England Patriots offense. And the reason we like the New England Patriots, obviously you have Tom Brady. Tom Brady's throwing attributes in this game are still really effective. But again, his deep accuracy kind of blows. And, uh, and so that's why, again, they're kind of lower on our list. But um, what you have with New England is you have some really, really good backs, um, that you can utilize for trucking. You see Laguerre at 196 truck. Uh, and then the other thing that we have is they all catch really well. I like to play uh, Dion Lewis here. Uh, but again, this is a number four team, if that. Um, and they kind of barely made our list. But the reason they made our list here is these receivers. Uh, like kind of similar to the uh, Seahawks, they have really, really good catch and traffic receivers. Um, Brandon Gibson, a Madden, kind of a, a sleeper in Madden. Uh, Dobson uh, is kind of their starter over him. But I really like uh, Gibson over him. Uh, and you see here uh, some of the reasons why going through these lists, as you see, just catching traffic for days. I mean, New England has really good receivers uh, to catch the ball in traffic. You have Gronk at six foot six. You cannot underestimate how powerful he is in this game, um, in my opinion. And that's why the Lions are kind of off this list because they have Calvin, but that's it. And uh, but we have Gronk plus. Edelman, LaFell, Amendola, and Gibson, all which have really high catch in traffic. I will be running a lot of five wide with the Patriots. Um, and then you have Scott Chandler, Chandler who's 6'7". Um, while he's not as good as Gronk, he still has 85 catch in traffic. And then, uh, obviously, Michael. So some really good two tight end sets with the, with the Patriots this season. Uh, so that's why I like them at number four on our list. Uh, the next... Uh, tier on our list, number three. I really do like the Raiders this year. Um, you see, but again, this deep throw accuracy, you just can't have it. Uh, and we'll cycle through here and check. But um, the other team that I wanted to highlight is real quick, we'll take a look at Breeze, but a lot of the top guys are not having really good deep accuracy. You see, Breeze has 78. Um, but the Steelers uh, are number three on our list. And the reason the Steelers are number three on our list, we got Vic for mobility. We've got Roethlisberger for passing, and he does a decent job. Um, his accuracy still at 74 is kind of iffy. I don't really, you know, like I said, I mean, there's not a great, uh, you know, great deal of that, but the running game for Pittsburgh is solid. Dre Archer with 96 speed, 95 excel. Uh, Ladavion Bell with his great attributes with his uh, juke move and his uh, vision and his trucking and that stuff. And then D'Angelo Williams is kind of a spell back if you ever need a sub. He is a really solid backup. 
You have this guy, Will Johnson, who can really block well. I know that for a fact. And then you have some of the best receivers in the game. Uh, let's just take a look at this. Uh, catching traffic, you have that with Sammy Coates. Um, he's solid. Uh, and then, obviously, you have David Nelson, 6'5", sitting on your bench. If you ever want to just throw him in, I mean, this dude's 6'5". He can obviously make some plays for you. You have... Um, Let's see, some. if you need speed, I mean, look no further than this offense. I mean, good Lord, look at the speed of these receivers. Antonio Brown at 90, Martavis Bryant at 91, Hayward Bay 92, and then you can obviously use Dre Archer in the receiving game as well. These are quick, fast receivers, uh, in my opinion, and really, really solid. What I like to do is put Bryant on the outside at number one uh, because I like to have him put that high height um, and that spectacular catching and then I take Sammy Coates put him at the second receiver and then throw Brown at the third receiver and then kind of go down the list like that so that's what I like to do and then of course your tight ends are still good Heath Miller um, is, a, is a staple catching traffic 88 and then Spaeth actually has 82 catching traffic the other thing he has is really really good uh, run block so that's the Steelers and they come in on our list at number three uh, this season uh, number two on our list uh, was kind of, I, I thought about the Broncos um, for a second, but if you take a look at the stats, you're going to find 75 deep throw accuracy for Manning is just not very good. Uh, and so uh, as you go down the list, you're going to continue to see that. Not a whole lot of quarterbacks. And let me just back out of this and show you this. We'll just show it from this. But if you go to manage players, and we'll just show you this from the All-NFL. Go to All-NFL. If you go over to deep accuracy, you're going to find that Rodgers is the only guy that has 80-plus. Um, Ryan has 78. Breeze has 78. Winston has 76. But, I mean, as you go down the list, there's kind of sucky deep accuracy this year. Uh, and that's why deep accuracy is so important because it's such a rarity. But um, second on our list, not the Broncos, um, but the Cowboys. And I know I'm a little biased. I really like the Cowboys. But I think they're the best. Uh, and the reason why is you have mobility in this guy, Jim Little Showers. He's uh, really solid. Uh, you have um, the other thing you have is Romo, who has decent mobility, can get out of the pocket. Deep accuracy is the third highest or the second highest in the NFL. Also has all the stats, medium and middle, decent accuracy. You're going to be fine with him. The cool part about these running backs is you have kind of some different things you can do with them. And Madden, they're really pretty good. Um, Randall can catch. Dunbar, we've seen, can catch. Uh, he's going to get some updates as the year goes through. And then if you need uh, somebody that needs somebody to. Uh, to run inside, you have Christian Michael from the Seahawks coming over, and he's really solid as a back running the football. And then, of course, you have McFadden for pure speed. Uh, I like to use the main thing I like. I don't really play McFadden. I think he's kind of a tweener. I like to use Dunbar, Randall, or Michael. And then Klutz uh, is decent. I don't really use him. The, 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 the really what I want to hit on with the Cowboys offense this year is the importance is to – to really focus in on uh, versatility. Uh, the versatility of this offense, in my opinion, beats everybody out of, out of the water. And here's why. They've got Madden Jims out the freaking wazoo. Let's take a look at this. First and foremost, James Hanna, 6'4", 89 speed at tight end. Hello. Start this man. This man is solid at fullback. I like to use him at fullback because he's not the best catcher, but he has that speed, that, that ability to get outside. Uh, so that's the first thing. Second thing, Gavin Escobar, 6'6". Six 6'6". Foot six. Six foot six. Him and Jason Whitner, 6'6". Six six monsters. In my opinion, the Dallas Cowboys offense is better at tight end than the New England Patriots. You see two 6'6 six six guys, both 86 catch. 86 catching traffic, 84 and 83 spectacular catch, respectively. Great catching. The second thing that's really, really important is that they both have a decent amount of speed, can get a, but acceleration, the quickness. They're quick tight ends, and they really, really can do a lot for you this season. Uh, and I really, I, I just want to, you know, I really think they do. Second, second thing, second point. Dallas Cowboys best offensive line in the game, by far best offensive line in the game. Nobody even comes close. Take a look at this. Tyron Smith, 94 overall. Ronald Leary, 83, but eh. But Fred, Frederick, 91. Martin, 93. And then Doug Free at 86. And then the other guy that's going to grow is Lyle Collins, the rookie, who was a first-round pick. And what you're going to find here is that these guys have some of the best run-blocking skills. Impact block, 93. 99 impact block. I mean, and as you go through this, offensive line is phenomenal. Now, let me get into the receivers and what I believe is the best receiving core in Madden NFL 16. And I'm going to tell you why right now. Here's why. Take a look at the catching traffic. Catching traffic, in my opinion, is the most important stat this season for wide receivers. 
97, 88, 85, 87. And Vince Male, the new pickup. This dude is insane. This dude is money. Devin Street as well. Really, really solid. 84 catch and traffic. He's six foot three. Six foot three. This man is Des Bryant 2.0. He is solid. Um you have Escobar. You have this guy Rodney Smith at six foot five. These guys have tweeners like this all over their field. And then if you want speed, say you want someone that can really burn them over the top, Mr. Butler, the new pickup, six foot three. Terrence Williams at ninety two speed. These guys have receivers for days. In my opinion, this is the best receiving core. What I like to do first and foremost here, let's just take a look at this. Vincent Malai goes in the number four slot, and here's why. Eighty his catching traffic is Phenomenal. 87 catch in traffic. Really, really, really good. Devin Street goes in the fifth receiver slot. What I like to do is in five wide receiver sets, he goes on the outside, and then Williams goes into the slot with Beasley, and that's how we do it. Now we've got height advantages, mismatches all over the field. This wide receiving core, guys, is really, really good. Bryce Butler with that 92 speed. His catch in traffic's kind of iffy, um, so I don't really use him. He's got spectacular catching, but in my opinion, I don't really value that as much as I do catch in traffic because um, most of my routes are uh, for you know quick curls or hitches or things like that. So, so I don't really value spectacular catch. Some guys do. If you want to throw the user catch, then you may value that, but... They have that, and they have that. That's the point. They have that in Williams, and they have that in Bryant, 98 and 89. Really, really good. In my opinion, this is the best offense in the game. Um, but that being said, I am a little biased, and that's why I put them number two. Weaknesses that they have is they don't have speed at the halfback. Um, Dunbar at 91, not elite. Um, that's kind of their weakness. And then Romo's not the best. He's not the best accuracy-wise. But... Um, that's our number two, uh, and I got really excited about that because I'm a Cowboys fan. I do. I think their offense is really good. Now, number one is the Green Bay Packers. Here's why. Aaron Rodgers. I mean, play. first and foremost, you talk about ability to play. Aaron Rodgers is the best quarterback in the NFL. Bar none. No argument. And here's why. Take a look at his stats. Throwing power, 95. Short accuracy, 95. Mini accuracy, 93. Deep accuracy, 80. The best. Best you can get, 80. Best quarterback. Backup, Brett Hundley. Elusive, quick, speed. In that package with the wide trips with the shovel option, we could sub Brett Hundley in. He's really good. Running backs, no speed. Uh, but you have Eddie Lacy. This man is good enough. I mean, he 97 trucking. I mean, that's really, 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 really good. The other thing that they bring to the table is he catches the football. 78 catching, really, really good for a back. And then you have, of course, John Kuhn. With the 89 overall, uh, he's one of the better fullbacks in the game. So if you want to run the ball, you can with these guys, but just be running inside. Wide receivers, we start Jordy Nelson and Madden because he's not hurting Madden. Um, and just take a look. I mean, we talked Dallas receivers, but let's just look at these guys. These guys are nuts. Look at the catch in traffic of these guys. I mean, can you argue with that? They've got four guys that are really, you know, really, 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 really good in catching traffic. And then the more you go down the list, you're going to find that you've got this guy, Jared, uh, blah, 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 and he is money. He's a Madden Jim, 82 catching traffic, 81 catch, six foot one. Um, you have some decent options at tight end, and we'll talk about that in a moment. Um, the speed, um, like, um, that's kind of Dallas as Achilles heel is they don't have anyone that can really crush you. They have guys that can beat you deep but can't crush you. Um, and you see Green Bay is kind of the same. They don't have that kind of breakaway guy, but Cobb will do it uh, for you because he's got that agility. Um, but anyway, let me just show you how I like to set these guys up. I like to throw Jones on the outside, 6'1", 6'3", on the outside. And then I take Adams. He's the four receiver. Cobb is the fifth. Janice at 6'3 with 91 speed, 71 streak. This dude's a kind of a physical monster. Uh, what I like to do, though, he his catch in traffic's not too bad. Uh, his spectacular catch kind of makes up for it. So if I want to use her catch, I'll throw him in the game. And then Montgomery kind of the same. Uh, but I like to put a blue, blah, 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 blah there instead of Montgomery. Montgomery has more speed, I believe, but just by one. So I like to go like that. But these guys are really, really good. And then at tight end... Um, they're not as good as Dallas is. Um, you see they're catching traffic and stuff kind of blows. Uh, what I like to do is start Rodgers over Corliss, uh, and then from there, Backman is kind of all right, but he can't catch. I mean, he's he's nothing special, uh, and but he does have 84 speed, so that's there's that. So you can use these guys. Kuhn as well. Um, if I'm in a running set, you know, I mean, 
and it just kind of depends on what you want to do, but Coon doesn't have that same catching ability either, um, so that's kind of that, but, um, but that's the Packers, and I really like them offensively, so, uh, just a quick recap, top five, Seattle, um, I mean, I, I, and I do like Seattle, um, and then we had, uh, I believe we had the Patriots, and then we had the Steelers, and then we had the Cowboys, of course. I think the Dallas is really good. And then we had, um, and then we had the uh, Packers. Uh, a sleeper team that I want to recommend here, just to close out, Indianapolis. Uh, Indianapolis is very similar to Dallas. Um, Andrew Luck is really good, but again, he has the same issue. Uh, his deep throw accuracy is just not very good. Um, C74, but it is kind of mediocre compared when you compare it to everybody else's. Um, but their running backs suck. I mean, their running backs flat out suck. I mean, they don't have anybody good here. Um, not, I mean, nothing that outstanding in trucking uh, and nothing in elusiveness either. So, But catching, they have you know really not anything special there either. So their running backs just flat out suck. Um, Wide receiving core, they're pretty solid. Uh, Andre Johnson's not as good as he used to be. Um, but Moncrief and those guys are all decent. Um, they all catch in traffic, which is nice. You see the 80 all the way through, uh, which is really nice. Um, but they're, And their spectacular catch. They all do good there. Uh, what I like to – I mean, this is a really good receiving core. And what you want to do is you want to go five wide with this team um, for sure. Um, not really any Madden gems, nothing that really stands out uh, to me. Um and then, of course, Dwayne Allen and Kobe Fleener are two really solid tight ends. They are completely different in the way you use them. I think Kobe Fleener is the starter, but if you want to run the ball, you go Dwayne Allen. But I don't want to run the ball at the Colts, so I'm going to go with uh, I'm going to go with Kobe Fleener there. But anyway, that is the top five offenses in Madden 16, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, if you want to talk about um, if you want to talk about, uh, like I said, the the um, the best offense, I really have a hard time deciding between Green Bay and Dallas. Um, and there's some sleepers like Indianapolis. Um, another sleeper that comes to mind is Kansas City. Uh, the reason Kansas City is good is because deep accuracy in this game, um, you're not going to find anybody that has really great deep accuracy, and they all kind of suck except for Rodgers. So Smith isn't going to make every throw, but you have Charles, and then you also have this receiving core, uh, which is decent. Um, I don't know if we have the best of the best in here. We'll just reorder it. But uh, you see uh, catching traffic for days with these two guys. Hammond is a decent one. Kelsey. Uh, Kelsey is a monster in this game. So you have that. Also Atlanta. Matt Ryan actually has some of the best deep accuracy in the game this year, which is interesting. Um, you see his deep accuracy at 78, which is similar to Romo. The running back system here, they have Coleman, who's got 93 speed, uh, which is better than Dallas. They also have... The two monsters here in Julio Hones and Roddy White. Um, those guys are pretty solid, but they don't have anybody else. I mean, Hankerson can catch. They have Hester. Hardy's all right, but I don't know. I mean, this this team just kind of, eh. They're, they're tied in kind of. Tammy's not too special. Um, you see no catch in traffic at all. So, so that's why I don't use Atlanta. They're another super team. The Niners, uh, they're not very good. When you compare them to Seattle, Seattle's better. Um, they have this guy. Hyde has got, you know, none of these guys have good speed, you know. No, no, no speed. And and that's really why. Um, the Vikings are also a sleeper team. I just want to talk about this for a second, and then we'll get out of here. Just the Vikings will be the la last team. But you have um, some mobility with Bridgewater. Um, pretty good mobility, actually. You have Peterson and McKinnon. Uh, McKinnon's a good backup. Peterson with 94, you know, he's going to do what he does. Uh, but he's not as good as he used to be. He's not the best running back in the game by far. Uh, they're wide receivers. You have speed. Um, but you don't necessarily have, I mean, you have some. You see these three have catch in traffic. Um, but outside of that, I mean, nothing really special to me wide receiver-wise. You're going to have to run the ball with this team. Um, they're tight in. Kyle Rudolph is really, really good. He's 6'6". Um, his catch in traffic isn't great, though, but it's spectacular catching is, and he can make those user catches for you. Um, the Bears, no. Bengals, eh. Bills, Bills are decent. Um, they're a sleeper team. If you, uh, and this is kind of going back to like Seattle. Um, it's kind of the, it's kind of the Bills or the Seahawks for number five. Uh, the tight end here, Clay is solid. The wide receivers on this team. I mean, I said Dallas has the best receiving core. I still stand by that statement, but 
Bills have really good, uh, a really good receiving core as well. They all have great catch and traffic. They all can catch. Ricky Wood, Robert Woods, and Watkins are the outside guys for me. Hogan and Har or, uh, Goodwin and Har Harvin are the slot, and they've just got a lot of speed. Um, they're the fastest receiving core by far. Um, Felton's a solid blocker. They got Shady at 89 speed, though, not anything special. Um, and so that's why I don't I go away because there no no speed and you need speed this year. Uh, trucking Bobby Diskin solid goal line back. Uh, Tyrod 87 speed. He's a great mobile quarterback, but again you're going to see his deep accuracy sucks and his but his more short and middle really suck too. So you're not going to be passing the ball at this team, but this is a really good running team like Seattle, Denver. Uh, the reason we don't really like Denver is there's no running back. Um, the receivers are not as good as they used to be. You see their receiving core is eh, it's kind of iffy. Latimer is solid. You need to put him in over Caldwell. Um, and so when you take that into consideration, you can use Owen Daniels. And they become a decent team, but they don't have that running back, and that's kind of important. They also, um, Sanders is really good. Um, Fowler, but they don't have anybody that, again, is like kind of like Dallas. They don't have anybody that's breakaway speed. And Manning, you're going to see, first of all, no mobility, 64 of speed. Second of all, um, his deep accuracy is not that great. 75, again, kind of compared to everybody else is kind of the same. Browns, I mean, I like the Browns, but I don't think they're a great offense. Uh, the Bucks have the two twin towers here outside, but nothing outside of that. Murphy and Shepard aren't anything special. Cardinals are decent. Um, you're going to see this. Uh, let me see. Let me show you this. Uh, what you see in these receivers is you have a really you have four solid ones with Gresham, so they really are pretty solid. Uh, Palmer, his stats, uh, first of all, he can't run. Uh, second of all, his accuracy deep throw is not very good. They have CJ2K and Ellington, so they have really good running backs. So this is kind of a sleeper team as well. Um, and you may put them above New England. I still have New England because of Brady. Uh, but anyway, uh, the Chargers, Rivers has, um, you know, kind of decent accuracy. And again, no speed back. Melvin Gordon is, I mean, he has some speed, but he's more of a power. He's more of kind of a shady type running back with no breakaway. Um, the cool part about the Chargers is they have these guys that can catch the ball in traffic, these three. Right here, they're six foot. Um, so you have that, but they don't have that fourth guy for that four wide receiver set that you want. Um, Speed-wise, they don't have anybody that really stands out to me. Uh, they have Gates, but you're going to see Gates kind of sucks in this game. Um, and it's catching traffic's only 80, um, and also his speed's only 78, so he's not perfect like he used to be. Uh, we went over the Chiefs, we went over the Cowboys. The Dolphins, I mean, not really anything special here. The Dolphins don't have anything. Um, they have these three receivers, which... I mean, this receiving core is not too bad, but you see Jennings can't catch the ball in traffic anymore, and that's a big thing for me. They have these four guys that can, um, but anyway, you can kind of go with that. I really like Jarvis Landry. I think Jarvis Landry is really underrated. He's really good at Madden Ultimate Team as well. Uh, the Eagles, I don't really like the Eagles at all. Um, they have a stable, but Sproles, only 87 speed. He's not getting any love anymore, no speed. Um, so, again, I think speed is really important in this game. Uh, the Giants receive Giants are pretty solid. The only problem is Manning, no mobility. First of all, second of all, uh, deep throw at only 70. Um, they don't have a speed back. Also, that's another thing. But their receiving core is legit. I mean, when you think of this receiving core, 91, 81, 89, and then you know you can throw Davis in the mix. They have a couple gems here, Chris Harper. Um, look at Beckham, 99 spectacular catching. I mean, this dude. I mean, this dude is money in this game. Um, of course, we're not going to play with the Jaguars. Um, that's a joke. Um, Jets, nothing really special either. Uh, Lions, Stafford uh, has mobility this year, which is different. He doesn't have the, you know, he didn't used to. He doesn't have great accuracy, though. Um, no speed at running back again. Um, wide receivers, you have Johnson and Tate. Outside of that, I mean, that's kind of it. I mean, when you look at that, uh, they're catching traffic. You see that nobody really stands out. Uh, Joyke Bell is actually a really good receiving back, though. Uh, but what you do have with this team is you have really good uh, tight ends. You have Pettigrew and Ebron, and those guys are pretty solid. But again, um, the Achilles heel, no catch in traffic, and that's important to me. Uh, the Panthers are really, I think they're a sleeper team. 
you'll see here 90 catching traffic for Olsen. He's solid. Um, their wide receivers, when you reorder, you're going to get Kelvin Benjamin. He's going to be able to play. And so you have him with that 90. I mean, he's. I think Kelvin Benjamin might be the best receiver in this game. That's just me. Some people may disagree, uh, but I think he's really. I think he's a lot better than people give him credit for. 97 catching in traffic, 97 spectacular catch. Those are two stats that really are important. He's also six foot five. Jericho Cotri is a good slot receiver. Ted Ginn has got the speed. Um, and then you have this guy here, Norwood, you can put in. Um, and then Brandon, I mean, there's some sleepers here. Um, these guys have fast receivers. You're going to look at this. Uh, when they talk speed, they probably got, I mean, they, they've got, um, you know, again with that. And uh, he kind of got gypped on his speed rating, but uh, he got Stephen Hill as well. Um, so some decent receivers there. Fullback, you've got Tolbert, and you can really run the ball well with him. Jonathan Stewart this year is pretty solid, but again, no speed. No speed, no speed, no speed, no speed, and we see that over and through, and that's why I I, I really, you know, I don't really like any team, you know, that really runs away with the title as the best offense, but I do think that the, uh, I do think that the uh, Packers are good because if you're not going to have speed, you might as well have passing, and Rodgers is the best passer. Um, so that's why, um, you know, here, Brashard Perriman, um, he has 97 speed. Uh, he's one of the better receivers in the game. When we talk speed, he's probably one of the fastest people in the game. Um, and so speed is definitely at a premium this year. Um, not a whole lot of teams really have speed. Uh, Fluco has uh, decent mobility. But, again, you're going to see uh, his accuracy sets are actually better than most. 97 throw power, which is nice. Uh, Redskins, Griffin, uh, on the bench, but we would probably start him, of course. You're going to see, though, that his accuracy stats also 65. I mean, that sucks. Um, no real speed, but Morris is pretty solid. He's kind of like Eddie Lacy, but even with him being like Eddie Lacy, they don't have the passing that Rodgers has, and they don't have the... Garcon has the catch in traffic, but Jackson doesn't. I mean, he kind of blows, and uh, Crowder is eh. You know, all these guys are kind of eh. You know, nobody really stands out here. Saints, um, they're really pretty solid receiving core because you have Cooks with that 95 speed, and he's one of the – he's a rarity. Um, not a whole lot of – you know, you're not going to see him. Not a lot of people are going to have him. But Coleman, this dude is a Madden gem. What I like to do with this team, Coleman goes here, okay? Morgan goes here. Cooks goes here. So three wide, you've got this guy Hill is good. 80 catch and spectacular catch, 80 catch, 6'5". So he goes here, and then um, you're running back. You have CJ, and you see, I mean, he's CJ Spiller, so 82 catch, so he goes here, and then Breeze. But what you're going to see again is, first of all, Breeze has no mobility, and second of all, his deep accuracy, which is, I mean, it's like Romo. So, I mean, these guys are really solid. I mean, I think for user catching, um, these are really two good teams, uh, two two good receivers here, Coleman and Colston. Uh, we went over the Seahawks. Steelers, no. Texans, eh. Nothing really from Houston. I mean, Foster's, again, no real speed. Um you have Hopkins, and he's gotten some love. Cecil Shorts has gotten some love. This guy Strong has gotten some Well, yeah. This receiving core ain't too shabby. Jalen Strong. But Boomer, you've got Humphrey, you've got Graham. This team may be a little sleeper team. CJ Fierdewicks. Dude, ain't even too bad, eh? 6'6", Eric Tomlinson. These guys aren't too bad. Again, you're going to get killed at the quarterback position. Mallet, nothing. Nothing. I mean, his accuracy is pathetic. Um, accuracy is important in this game. And you're going to find that I'm, you know, pretty accurate in saying that. Uh, Tennessee, uh, first, I mean, Mariota, you're going to have mobility, but you can't throw it. I mean, his deep accuracy is 63 overall. Um, so it kind of sucks there. The, the running backs are pretty decent. Um, the main guy I want to highlight from this team is Doriel Green Beckham, 6'5". 
uh, 87 catching traffic, 90 spectacular catching. Uh, I think he's the best receiver on their team. Um, I think he's better than Kendall Wright. So what I like to do is put him at the number one. Harry Douglas, or excuse me, Justin Hunter goes here. Kendall Wright goes here. Douglas goes here. Uh, that's what I like to do with these guys. Don't start Delaney Walker uh, unless you're stupid. Um, his catch of traffic's pathetic. Rather put Kaufman in the game. And I like to go Fasano. Stevens starts. Kaufman, Fasano. Walker doesn't see the field. Um, that's just me. Vikings, we went over them. The Bears, we'll take a look at them real quick because we might as well. I mean, we're already at 30 minutes. Um, you're going to see the color kind of blows. Uh, they really, he has sucky, set, sucky stats. 98 throwing power, but nothing else. They have this guy, Jeremy Langford, with 92 speed. It's a uh, decent pair. He's got acceleration as well. Um, yeah, Forte, of course. Um, Forte can do it all. These are just kind of spell backs. Fullback, we don't really care. Uh, Jeffrey, or the receiving core, though, for the Bears took a hit with the loss of Marshall. Uh, and what you're going to see here is that you have Kevin White. Ooh, he's really good. Uh, what I would do is I would take Wright, put him in, and then I, I put Marquez on the outside, right in the slot, and you got some really big guys out there now. Um, and that's how I would do it. Bennett is decent. If I remember correctly, he's got pretty good catch in traffic. Yep, pretty good spec catch. Obviously, you would want to put Lee over Miller. Um, that's just me, though. Bengals. Uh, the Bengals are pretty uh, our sleeper team. I do want to discuss them real quick. Catch in traffic. Uh, Eifert is good. Um, Croft is good enough. Um, and he's 6'5". And so you have 6'6 six, six and 6'5". Six, and so you can do some things with these tight ends. Um, similar to New England. Um, their wide receivers are all big and they all catch. Um, they, they, they have that going for them. You see here 90, 90 84, 83, all the way down the line. Ben, uh, I would put uh, Ben Tate, or, or excuse me, Greg Little doesn't really see the field. He, he's not good. I mean, he's just not. Uh, we go down here and look here. Mario Alford at 93 speed. He's going to see the field a little bit uh, in those situations where I need a deep threat. Brandon Tate, 88 speed, not very not very good. Um, catching, not very good. Uh, catching traffic is not very good. Spectacular catch, not very good. So Alford goes here uh, in the fourth receiver slot. But normally we'll be using those tight ends. Fullback Hewitt. Uh, I don't really want to talk. I don't really care about fullback, so I'm not going to talk about it. Jeremy Hill. Um, the cool part you have uh, with this 95 truck from Hill. You also have James Wilder with 87 truck. The other thing that I want to focus on is Giovanni Bernard. You have elusive back. You have a stable of running backs in Cincinnati uh, that you can use. Uh, Cedric Pierman has 90 speed, uh, can catch, but Gio and Jeremy are really a nice duo. Um, so you have that. Andy Dalton just kind of blows, uh, and it's uh, it's kind of the Achilles heel for most of these teams. His deep accuracy is only seven sixty nine, um, so and he throw power thirty six. I mean, he can't throw the ball deep, and and that's kind of that. Went over the Brown. Oh, let's go over uh, the Browns real quick. Uh, Johnny Football. Um, Austin Davis versus Johnny Football for the starting position. Uh, football has more throw power. But Davis has better accuracy, so I would probably start Davis. Um, but we all know we're going to start Johnny Football because it's Madden, and that's what we do. Um, running back, this guy Crow is probably your best bet. Um, they don't have anybody. I mean, they don't really have anybody to run the ball. Uh, I like this guy Johnson, Duke. Um, I know in the ebook I break down Duke. Uh, Turban is a new addition, and you can use him at 90 speed, 82 strength. I like Duke more because he has an agility. Um, and then you have Crow for power. Don't really care about the fullback. Uh, wide receivers, I start Gordon, of course. They have Bo. Um, they have enough to get by offensively, and I think their defense is so good. But the cool part is this sleeper, Brian Hartline here. That dude's a sleeper. Um, that dude is a, a sleeper. And then I like Gabriel, 5'8", 92 speed, but he has that catching and catching traffic that we really like to get from our receivers. Uh, we'll look here. 79 catching traffic. It's better than Hawkins. Um, 
Hawkins catches the ball a little bit better, but, you know, I mean, if they're open, they're going to catch it. I mean, not going to drop an open ball. Um, more. Um, the, the other thing is the tight ends. Um, see, they got all good tight ends, um, but this guy Bibbs, that's the guy that we use. I like Bibbs. You can use Barnage. Uh, the reason I use Bibbs is because he can catch better. Spectacular catch is better. Not too bad. Um, so that's why I use him. Uh, so that's the Browns. Bucks, we already went over them. Safarian Jenkins is pretty good. Uh, they have decent tight ends. That's Let me note that. They do have decent tight ends. Myers, 87, catching traffic. Safarian Jenkins can't catch the ball in traffic, unfortunately. So that's kind of their Achilles heel. Went over the Cardinals. Chargers, we went over. I think we went over all the teams. So, um, But, yeah, anyways, guys... Um, we kind of took a long time to get to our point here, but overall, um, I like the Packers, number one team, number one team in, in Madden, uh, best offense, best offense by far. Um, but you have your top five uh, from one to five. You have the Packers at number one, Dallas at number two, Pittsburgh at number three, uh, New England at number four, and Seattle at number five. Some teams that you can intermix. I would intermix uh, between number five. You can go. You can either go to Seattle, uh, Indianapolis, or Buffalo. And then um, the number four team where the Patriots are, it can either go to the Patriots, um, it could go to the Saints, it could go to the – or the, the Bengals. Um, but those are kind of our top five teams, uh, top five offensive teams in Madden NFL 16. Uh, we kind of broke down all the teams for you, so I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, if you want to check out some more information on offensive side of the ball in Madden, be sure to check out our Arizona Offensive Guide.